In the 1970s, the world came alive to the sounds of Roots reggae. I know I am bound here in captivity. It sang songs of revolution, morality and injustice and offered hope to ordinary people in times of immense political struggle. Bob Marley, Burning Spear, Peter Tosh and a whole leap of other artists brought this message from the ghettos of a small Caribbean island to the international stage. Stand up for your rights. Reggae music has become a voice of the Jamaican peasantry. It is the bedrock, I would say, of the expression of freedom. In Jamaica, it helped unite the country at a time of near civil war. I think most of Jamaican music is a reflection from the environment. That's why it is so raw, truthful and authentic. It was a music that kept everyone's sanity. In Britain, it was a cultural lifeline to a generation of young black people. Fight of the nation with them. It was just an occupational hazard being a young black man, you know? We were almost like the guinea pigs for a lot of the nonsense that was going on. You were kicked, you were beaten at the hands of racist police officers in this country. And its universal message crossed over to a much wider audience too. Roots Reggae really gave the listener strength. Roots Reggae has been a huge influence on everything I do as a musician, poet and political commentator. We say only working class people are racist. Do me a favour. We've been on this team for so long now. Even though I was born two years after Bob Marley died, like loads of people my age, I've grown up with this music. But it's something I've always taken for granted. So I want a journey much deeper into this culture that's been such an integral part of my life. But it's not just me. For millions of people, both in Jamaica and here in the UK, Roots Reggae has been more than just music. It's been a way of life. The Hackney Empire is one of the hubs of London's Caribbean community, where many of Roots Reggae legend has performed. I spent countless hours here growing up, and I've arranged to meet some of my elders to find out why this music has made such a connection. I wanted to gather you guys here today, you know, because you're largely responsible for Roots Reggae and my love for it. What was the opening moment that you thought, I love this stuff? When did reggae really hit your life? For me, it was when um, Exodus came out, Bob Marley, that album. <laughs> It just contained the energy at that time that encapsulated what was going on in the environment. And that is the magic thing about reggae music, is that reggae music has always been the voice of the, of the people, or the voiceless in that sense. Our parents weren't really too keen on listening to it, particularly. Mm. It wasn't what they wanted you to aspire to. But that really was a key source of identity at the time. This is where you stop watching Top of the Pops, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you begin to understand music without lyrics and the power of the sound, which is important, the power of the sort like the drum beat. And that's when you begin to get influenced and begin to understand, basically, what people all around the world are going through. Worrying about your earthly possessions, yeah. Don't make it, cold, it was about suffering, basically. How to survive, you know what I mean? what the world is really like, basically, from that point of view. You know, it was great to get some of my elders together in the same space at the same time. What really struck me the most was this sense that reggae music was so powerful, so forceful that it remade an entire generation's identity to the point where, you know, 40 years later, it still impacted the way they see themselves right up until this very day. If you would like a real vacation, Having some fun and relaxation If joy and happiness you would know Jamaica, Jamaica is the place to go Yes, Jamaica is... I love coming back to Jamaica. 
The first time I came here, I was seven years old and I went to stay with my grandmother in her village for an entire summer. It was one of the most incredible experiences of my life and I remember being blown away by just the sheer physical beauty of the place. That summer really shaped my relationship with the country. But now I'm older, I'm not blind to the challenges it faced and still faces. But despite those challenges, the Jamaican people have managed to make an indelible impression upon the world. Someone said to me recently, not since the Mediterranean island of Crete a few thousand years ago, has an island of comparable size exercised such disproportionate influence on global culture. And that may sound like an exaggeration, but when you think about it, it isn't. 2.5 million people, 150 miles long, yet you struggle to find anyone anywhere in the world who doesn't know the name Jamaica and the word reggae music. For many people, reggae has had that global impact because it's a political music with a message. But I want to get a sense of the musical ingredients that help reggae to become so successful. Tamil Cutthroats, Tamil Sanal, we're hanging out with Teddy Dan, my brother. Teddy Dan, your style of music is? Ethiopian reggae. Ethiopian <laughs> reggae. <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> amazing. And even Teddy, the, the reggae industry, reggae music right. has, has developed through the years because you're from the 50s. Um, right. eh? yeah. um, there are different style of music, reggae now. Yeah. What was some of the genre before reggae? There was scan, blue beat, and you know, soak and all those kind of music before reggae music. Before you reggae, you know what I mean? Before reggae music, it was more fusing music with America music at the time. You know, As if you listen to enough of the artists, you can find artists in America that them that inspire them. You know, and reggae music come. Through the revolution of Rastafari, from the time of Bob and Bunny and all those people, yeah. you know what I mean? That's where the revolution come, where reggae music become a music of worshiping, praising the king, singing about our history and our life, and inspiring other people to be aware of their history. You know, Beautiful. That's how reggae music came to us at first. You know, it was an inspiration. It was a schoolroom. You know, where many people didn't want to go to school or even go to school because of the racial tension and racial situation that we all faced. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So reggae music become our bigger brother then that inspire we to go and do things that we would normally wouldn't do. Mm -hmm. So we give thanks for our early brothers them who really take up the the button then and start to run with it. Beautiful. Because I see Rasta in a Jamaica, but an England Rastafari come to I. All right. And so I really give thanks for the bridging and sisters them that was there before. Nice. And even reggae music, you grew up on the sound system culture, right? Yeah, I grew up on the sound system culture because at the time you find our elders before, they weren't so receptive to give you the mic. So you can, you, they will allow you to take the box and the equipment and set it up, but they won't give you that. The sound system now was our, our band. The sound system was a band. So it's like, you have a lot of us that surround the sound system, but every music that play is not everyone that have a vibes to that music. You know, you may have a vibes, I don't have a vibes. So it's like automatically you get your chance to, you know. So it's like with the sound system, it was more a togetherness. You know, if you have the fire, you deal with it. You don't have the fire, you give someone else the mic and you just keep running round and nice. round. Nice. Camaraderie, family, it's family a, vibe. Yeah, it was a family vibe. It wasn't a, like how I see reggae music becoming like people competing. It was, I have a fire. A fire means I have a message to deliver. And having the message, you know, it's, you give him the mic and he deal with his message. After him run out, by the time he's doing his message, a message come to you. So by the time he give you the mic, you have a message and it rewind and it, it was good fun. And it Beautiful. was good development. And I love 
sound system at the time, but now I prefer to work with a band. Beautiful. Sound system, culture, band, reggae music, reggae industry, all Zari. Teddy Dan, my guest today. The next song is from my brother, Royal Pain. Is a fine sim, Hungry Days. Ethiopia, me love Ethiopia. Ishalal, Bata, me shalal. Ishi, Kepa. Royal Pain. Hungry days Where you know about mango for me breakfast The money shot so me can't make a cent last Can't sit down from corner and it ends off No sir, me have to work hard, life short I too old so me have to take the right part Not na, na, na house you don't no like me just smile go to my bed Even though me say no tears me never shed Me just a hope for the days when me have it for your length even though I say me do want my life in Try to get a life, set a life Cause I'm tired of the days when I don't have money to spend Me no 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 loyalty cause I don't have a true friend How me a go feel when me have it every day Me asking when, when me look back and then when me foot used to dirty and me look like me sleep in full pen Sleep with the full them Me mother they a foreign and she na have money for send But me want buy a house for a way big like hotel New style and new flows like hotel yeah. Money for a run like fountain Houses on the mountain Me just a go and sleep cause my eyes soon open Though me never settle dwell Me still never frowns when me drop in the darkness Me see a light in a the tunnel Where for bring me to my future if me take it so then, when pagan attack, no, me no matter them Call me one fi big like me Uncle Noel No fees man on the money, so no school me no attend Me just stay a woman right through, that a me talent Me life no pretty, no no beauty pageant Some still can understand and know the pain that I felt But me want fi gain, the fame and the wealth Fi get the get a piece of strength, my house look looking like a tent Me don't have a gas stove too black and some coal Like a bag and make it melt over it Rabbi no, me say me never yet attempt If poverty a crime in a jail around a thousand years me spent To school to learn by me mother I was sent But back home I went, got the teacher wrote me out of my pants Not the proper length and the children's laughing Say me shoes are big bread, get me From top, top, living in a house, you don't no like me, just smile, go to my bed. Mm -mm. Even though me send no tears, me never shed, me just a hope for the days when me have it for your land. Even though me say me do want my life end Try to get a life, set a life Cause me tired of the days when me have money for spend Me no 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 loyalty cause me no have a true friend How me a go feel when me have it every day Me asking when, when me look back and then When me foot used to dirty Royal pain man Rem G nigga, you know me Paul man, yo Black guns, tell them say we not touch man fans. Now we are not 